Hello everyone, Vegan here, back with another episode of Crusader Kings 3. This time we're going to be playing through as Gwyneth. We are King uh, Rodri uh, II, the Great of Gwyneth. This is me, I'm 47. I have uh, several children. Got uh, eight children. So, uh, yeah, lots of children. So, uh, we do have a large domain here. Uh, we have the title, our primary title is a duchy title, but we have many uh, county titles as well, and we also have a claim on this title right here. So, um, let's take a look at our domains. We've got uh, Seven holdings, we can only have four, so we probably need to get rid of some of those at some point to uh, to get our uh, penalties down, because right now we get minus 60% of our levies and taxes because we hold too much land. But I think I'm going to declare war first before we do that, and so uh, I want to go ahead and do the, our first war first with this guy here who has 393 uh, military strength as opposed to our 903. So we should be able to take that quite easily and then I can start spreading around my domains a little bit and uh, make everyone happier. Um, so, that being said, let's go ahead and choose our lifestyle. He has a martial education, so he's got that first. Wow, he's, he's got his entire uh, gallant stream up there. Uh, I could get prowess or I could get martial and dread. Uh, I think I'll do chivalry focus this time. Get that. Okay. And I have an unmarried heir. 17 year old son. Anard. Man, I am not going to be pronounced these Welsh names. I can tell you that already. <laughs> Uh, I could get a West Francian ally here. The problem is, we probably will end up getting pulled into a lot of their wars. Duchy of Cantabaria. Okay, that's down there. In Spain. Uh, Kingdom of Navarra. Who I played in a previous playthrough and got wrecked. Uh, ooh, some Saxons. Okay. French, Irish, Earldom of Ormond. Mm-hmm. I have a Welsh and Irish alliance. I mean, West Francia obviously is the the best ally to have, but they can pull you into a lot of wars as well. I'm gonna go ahead and take her. All right. What's in that proposal? They will be in our family. The Aberfra. All right, and let's take a look here. We got few knights. My children like guardians. Uh, I've already done that. Okay. Got lots of people. Lots of children's needs guardians. Uh, this is my other son. I'm gonna go ahead and be his guardian. Yep. And this son. Uh. We'll let my wife be the guardian of. Okay, this son. Let's see what this guy's got. Scribe, he's craven. Gray eminence. Oh. I'll let him be his. Start getting our uh, children educated in different ways here. Uh, my knight, astute intellectual. Yep. Okay. And finally, another night. Yes. Okay. I have too few nights. Uh, six out of ten. So I probably need to recruit some to court, but that is expensive to recruit these guys. So I'm probably going to have to wait on that. Alright, so without further ado, we're going to do our first declaration of war before I even unpause it. And it cost me 94 prestige. It's okay. I got plenty of prestige. We're going to attack 
for this title. There. All right. Raise all my armies. Unpause it. All right. Yes. Time to have an alliance with King Charles of France. Take out his army. Yep. I'm wounded already. Oh my god. Okay. And let's come down and take this. Barony of Cardigan. The origin of the Cardigan sweater. I need a court physician, don't I? I don't see any people that would be a good physician at this time. Lost the tree. Wounded. Good. I'm already healed up. Very good. Unrepresented. An Anglo-Saxon man from Amwithig has come to petition me for increased representation in my government. We are loyal subjects and we have no say on how our communities are governed. Switham gains 50 opinion of you. You get a strong hook. Okay. Sure. Ah! Stop that. I hate when I tried to close that and I end up moving my army. Almost done with the siege. There we go. 100%. And force my demands. And he is now my vassal. Oh, he's my brother-in-law. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and disband. Alright, my brother-in-law. I can't declare war because I don't have a claim on that land. Alright, so now I've got eight in my domain and that's way too many. It is time for me to start divvying up my holdings here. Let's take a look at my council. What do we got here? Uh, it might be a bit of time to appoint people that are better since nobody likes me anyway. I'm going to assign this guy here. He is a great eminence to my diplomat. There we go. My marshal, my vassal. He's a bold, bold gentleman. Let's look at... I'm going to make my son and my knight. Yep. Everybody's going to be hating me. That's alright. Uh, okay. This guy's only got a nine, so I'm going to keep this guy here. Mayor. He's got a 15. That's pretty good. Mayor Padrick. This is Mayor Quilfin. Alright. That's fine. We're good there. We're good there. I'm going to try to sway my spa master. Okay. Make him like me a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and go to court. We're going to search for a physician. Start the search there. I'm going to go to my realm. Look at my vassals. All right. So he doesn't like me much. None of my vassals like me much. Unfortunately. Yeah, none of them. Yikes. All right. So let's go ahead. Probably because I... The right to rule is out of alignment here, so probably. Alright, so which uh, domains do I want to give up here? Ferlix and Trollwig. I'm going to give up Ferlix here. We're going to grant that title to probably my Chancellor. Where's my son at? Let's give it to my Chancellor first here. We'll give him this. And we'll give him both of those. Alright. Became my vassal. Unfortunately, since I am only a Duke at this point, I can't give him a, a duchy title. So, so this title here. Let's look where it goes to. Principality of Gwyneth, Kingdom of Wales. Okay. Let's look at my domains here. Uh, 
This is a standalone. Let's get this standalone one here. Grant it to uh, my guest here. Uh, he's not that great. He has claims on other titles. Okay. Let's give it to this knight here. He looks pretty good. Or I probably should give it to my son, huh? <laughs> How about this 15 year old son? There we go. You're welcome, son. You are now a lord. Okay, and then I got one more to give away. Which one will it be? I guess we'll give this one away. Grant it to. One of my knights, or one of my other sons, perhaps. This guy is actually really good. I'll give it to him, even though he's not... He's lowborn, but he's about to be granted a title. There we go. Awesome. Very good. So now, I should have... Yeah, I have more soldiers now, even though I gave away territory. Because of my... Uh, domain penalties I was getting. Alright, so the world's full of dangers. We need a doctor. Let's see what she's got. Is she an actual physician? No. I think we're gonna get him. He's cheaper. He can learn. He can learn to be a physician. Alright. So let's see what we got going on here. I can ransom a guy. Yep, I'll do that. Uh, I can create the Kingdom of Wales already. Alright, how much is that going to cost? 500 gold. So I, I need to save up to 500 gold or find a way to get 500 gold. Uh, can we raise raiders? Nope, can't do raiders from here. Okay. That's fine. Murfin comes of age. Alright, cool. Grow up fast. Like you're going to need a spouse. So, I think Barcelona sounds like a good place. Yep. That's good. Yes. Excellent. Okay. And then... I've been corresponding with your Chancellor, and I must say I've come to see you in a new light. All right, who are you? Prince of the Barth. Okay, so yeah. He likes me, but he won't like me much because we're gonna soon be an opposing... He's gonna be part of Wales. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. All right, so we got some uh, Vikings here. Jorvik. Got the Mercians. We got uh, Wessex, we got Cornish, East Anglia, okay. And then over here we've got these other Vikings. Jarl Ivar, the Boneless of the Isles. And then of course we got all the Irish holdings. Alright. So who do we want to focus on first? Getting the country of, of Wales together? This guy likes me so it's unfortunate that we're going to have to go to war, but... Uh, that's what we're going to have to do. So let's go to council here. And I'm going to start fabricating a claim on this right here. Because I think that will be our next duchy here. With suspicion. I took Tuttle out playing with a bow and my surprise he ran into a wounded doe. He later lashed out at me thinking I'd staged the whole encounter as some kind of test. Yes, it certainly was a test. Well done, Tudwell. He's paranoid. Uh, he loses paranoid and gets ambitious. Then show me what you could have felled the animal yourself. I will gain a little stress, but it'll be worth it. Alright. Okay, so I'm thinking uh, that might not have been the best claim here, because this is all one... Principality. This whole duchy here. Oh, we'll get it a little at a time. Who are you? Raiders. 
not raiding me, are you? You will get wrecked. I will wreck you. Alright, I can declare war on Jarl, Jarl Ivar of the Bone. Boneless of the Isles. He's got 3,000 troops, though. I do have claims on the Isles. I do have an ally in West Francia. As soon as I declare war, though, you know that he's going to start a war. So... Maybe I should wait. Um, hmm. I could do a holy war for Dublin. Hmm. Costs 80 piety. Their military strength is inferior to ours. Well, with my allies, perhaps. So, should I go for my claim or for the Holy War? That's the question. Uh, we don't want him to get too powerful anyway. So... Let's press my claim. I'm going to call my ally, King Charles. Alright, we're going to raise our armies. Alright, he will join me in the war, that's good. Alright. Let's go ahead and raise my soldiers up here. Take just a little bit to get them all raised. Come on, armies. I get 25 per month. I guess I should just go ahead and jump on over there. I think. Here comes my ally. Alright. Let's go up there. Cattle comes of age. He's going to need a spouse as well. County of Lombardia. How about the Kingdom of Lotharingia? Or Duchy of Toulouse? Yeah, we're going to do that. Alright. Here we go. Alright. He's gladly going for my patrol. Well, that's good. We're going to sail over here. We're going to take the Isle of Man. Where are you going? Crazy person. Let's take this and be done with it. Oh man, England is like crazy with wars right now. Is he already at war with somebody else? Yeah, he's already got other wars going on. He's attacking uh, uh, East Anglia right now. Yeah. That's unfortunate for him. We're about to take this territory. Scheme at court. Spymaster's coming with grave news. Someone's planning to kill my son, Cattle. Well, it's exposed now, at least. Maybe we can stop it. Alright. We gained some territory. Let's come over here and grab his homeland. That should help. Bring the war to a close. Uh oh. There he is. Let's go after him. Where are you going? He's over here. trying to get on boats. Spymaster's coming with the grave news. Someone's trying to kill me now. Oh my god. <laughs> Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy. Yeah, let's, let's come back so we don't have to use boats. Let's wreck this guy. He just came off a boat as well, so... He should be, uh, he should have a disadvantage. An unexpected visit. With my mindset on a relaxing evening, I'm heading for my son Cattle's chambers 
with some spiced wines and a chess set, without knocking, I push his door open. Cattle is seated by his desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, he jumps out of his skin. Okay, what are you doing? Show me at once! Return later and search his chambers in secret. I'll find out what he's hiding, good or bad. Zero percent chance he'll find out. I respect his privacy. Intrigue challenge against cattle. Look at that. As I roam through his hidings, cattle sleeps like a babe. The sedative I put in his spice wine sure does the trick. I skim the letter horrified. It's convincing accusation claiming cattle feast on human flesh. What? Why is he doing that to himself? Written proof, how considerate. He's a cannibal secret. Oh my god, he's a cannibal. My son's a cannibal. Great. Ow, stop! God, I hate that. I do that all the time. I try to close a message whenever I got the army screen pulled up. Oh yeah, we got the king here. Awesome. The good mayor. While hosting lords and ladies from your realms, Mayor Ellis is in the good light. Okay. Who is the most gallant, most gallant person you've ever heard of? Well, it's him, of course. I can gain some prestige, or I can say he is, and I'll gain... I mean, you know, he already likes me. I'll say me. <laughs> All right, we whipped him. All right, so now let's head up to up here. All right, we got this under control. All right, see it done. Ooh, it's expensive, but I'll have a claim down there now. Allied combatant slayed. Uh oh. Mayor of Corwin was killed. Nest comes of age. Alright, they grow up fast. Let's see. Petty King of Strathalside. I oh, like Scottish tie in here. Can he take matrilineal? Nah, he won't. He'll accept matrilineal. And I'll have an alliance with, whoever this is, Duchy Meath. Oh, it's Irish. Okay, cool. All right. All right, I'm laying siege to them. Oh, he, he brought his sneaky army over here. Maybe my allies will go after him. He's getting 1.2 per day. Yeah, my allies going in there. Okay, that's cool. I'm getting 1.1 a day. Need to buy some onagers and whatnot. And create men at arms regiment. I don't. I can't do onagers yet. I can't do some lot footmen. Might as well do it. Every little bit of men at arms will help. Infiltrators. Local commoners are moving to Lynn, the capital of my spa master. Hmm. Locals knew he settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm to his perception of me. No immediate effects. I don't want to spend more money. He already likes me. Okay, we whipped him again. I'm about to take his homeland, his capital. Well organized levy service. Good. My spy master is coming to me with a discovery. He's certain my guest car dog is scheming against my son. Cure dog. He's my guest, fearless antagonist. Let the traitor be known to all. Alright. Or I can throw him in jail. I'm gonna throw him in jail. Bye bye, sweet prince. How much of a ransom can I get for him? Nothing. I could torture him. Might discover a secret. Uh, no. 
Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, whoops. Okie dokie, so we're up to 62%. Let's go ahead and move up here to this place and see if we can get some more of his territory. I got a perk available. Sweet. Uh, strict organization or control territory. I want to do strategist. I like strategist tree there. Works well. My allies are going to come defend our first taking there. I have a feeling this is going to be my my point of war against this uh, the Isles. I'm going to try to get Dublin and then uh, maybe become the Irish and Welsh king. Wouldn't that be interesting? Hmm? That's what I did in my in the tutorial playthrough. I united Ireland and I took Wales and then I took some of France and then I took some of uh, Sweden. Growing, doing pretty good in that one actually. Rise of the Scots. Although they share common origins with the other Anglo-Saxons, the clans living in northern Britain's lowlands have adapted to life in their rugged terrain. Diverging culturally, they are now their own culture, the Scots. There was a commotion among the children today. Sepphoris was attempting to preach among his fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Tudwell intervened and did what he could to protect him. Never back down from a challenge, Tudwell. I want him to be brave. Thank you. We're up to 80% on our war here, and we'll get the Isle of Man. Of course, we'll probably have to give it away to somebody, but that's fun. Come on, baby. Uh-oh. I knew it! Ugh. Calling you to honor your alliance and join me in the conquest of the Earldom of Athlone. Our enemies will be Briffney and Connacht. Our allies will be Meath and Alba. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. So we'll have to go down there and fight that battle while we're at this war still. This is exactly the same thing that happened to me when I tried to play Navara. I had two or three wars going at a time. Looks like our allies might be able to handle it though and lock it down there. Ellen comes of age. They grow up so fast. Alright, Ellen. Uh, how about the Duchy of Aquitaine? Oh, I could get some tie-in with the Scots here. He is an old man. Oh, too bad. Too bad you get have to get married to an old man. Uh-oh. My alliance expired. The High Chieftain of Meath. Then do I have to still have to join that war? Strakleet. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Whew. Good. Hi, scum. Viking scum. Let's see, is this part of... No, this is. This is a different... This is Okay. Let's come down here. Man. So we got freaking armies everywhere. Oh, we hired mercenaries. That's why he's got so many. It's going to be tough to get all this taken care of. Alright, we have 100% against this claim here. So we're going to enforce our demands and we get the Isle of Man. Boom! Victory. Nice. Alright, so now I'm going to come over here and fight these guys. Oh, great. Now the Scottish want me to join a war too. Against the, the Isles. <laughs> Alright, so if I join that war, what do I get? I guess I'll accept it. Join in the Holy War, I guess. Is this part of the Isles? Yes. Oh, man. How am I going to do this without my French friends? 
You better come be coming over here to help me against this guy. It's got it's got 3300 troops. Oh my god. Got dragged into this freaking Scottish war. Oh my god. I inherited the lordship from Lord Niffin. Oh wow. Okay, well now I'm over my domain limit. See, I knew this was going to turn out poorly for me. I shouldn't have joined this war. Ugh. Okay. Um, I can usurp the Yerldom of Man. Yeah, I'm holding it. Oh, that, that's the Duchy of Man. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Alright. So, we lost our Chancellor. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it to this Old Man Knight. Now we'll give it to this. Yeah, we'll give it to the Old Man Knight. He's going to die soon, so we'll give it to somebody else, but... Alright, should I, I jump over here then? And, golly. There's so many freaking armies going around here, I can't even tell what's happening. Alright, let's come over here. Let's get rid of this war. I'll go ahead and sail over there. I shouldn't have joined that freaking holy war. That's a mistake. Maybe he'll maybe he'll end the holy war and I'll have to be dealing with it. Alright, I can unlock a new martial perk. Good. Let's do Naval Speed and Siege Speed. Alright, I'm above my domain limit. Okay. So I need to grant Holmwick to someone. I'm going to grant it to my son and ward. Is he already on the title? No, he's unlanded. Alright. Here you go, sonny boy. Got your first title. Alright. I uh, still have one extra domain here. Uh, where's the other domain that I have? I thought I already gave away all the... Oh, no, I inherited one, didn't I? Okay. This one down here. Yes. A lordship down here. Okay. So, I'm going to grant it to someone as well. My other son, Cattle. He's unlanded. I'm going to grant you... Uh, this one. There you go. Now my sons have titles. Okay. Children like guardians. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let him be his guardian. Let my, nard, my daughter Nest be his guardian. Okay. Alright, so we're winning over here. Defeating those guys. Yep. We're winning. Slipping away. Count Total seems to be having a difficult time at our latest feast. Oh no. It's a duty to be seen whether you want to or not. He gains the trait shy or gains the trait gluttonous. Uh, I guess we'll let him be impatient. Okay. Ally joins the war. Petty King Rune. Oh, that's okay, because the other guy died. Alright. I want to get rid of this war so we can be done with it. So far he's not attacking me, so that's good. That's Meath, okay. Sicily was captured. Alright. During the Siege of Aklud. Alright. Alright, we got that war done with. Alright, good. So now I can come over here and strate strategical impasse with Lord Cadell and Mayor Sulian. Okay. 
could get both of it. Uh, I know how we can employ both strategies. Oh, nice. Let's do that. Get improved pillaging. Let's go over here to Dublin. Take it. We just don't have enough troops to fight against this guy on our own. Yeah, we lost the war. So be it. Disband it. I didn't lose anything out of that war, so that's fine. Alright. Very good. So we have increased our holdings a little bit. We now have the Isle of Man, who is ruled by our son, Tudor. We need to find him a wife. Uh, she is the county of Oldenburg. Okay, Irish. Earldom. Has claim on Earldom. She's old, though. I want that for my son. Let's see. My granddaughter. My son with my granddaughter? I don't think so. Principality of... Ooh! The Welsh guy. Okay. Potential alliance. I need more alliances. Let's look at... Uh, landed. Yeah, none of them have land. How old is he? Fourteen. Let's get her him a nice Welsh woman. It's Hale. Okay. She's low born, but it it's fine. It'll all work out. My perceptive leads, yes. Okay. It's fine. It's all good. All right, can we get some better guys here? Should we do some bowmen? We've got some light footmen. Could get some armored footmen or light horsemen. Let's go with light horsemen. Expensive, but it'll help us in the future, in our future battles. We can usurp the. Here, all of them. Cost two hundred fifty gold. Still haven't figured out who wants to murder me, have we? I don't have a physician still. So I guess we should search for a physician. How does everybody feel about me now? Do they like me? No, they don't. Court physician. She's like a baby. She's a gray eminence. Oh my god. Fortune builder. I'm thinking I want this gray eminence. That's diplomacy though. This is stewardship. Neither one of them is that much. It has to do with physicians, but... Oh well. Alright. I could have just chose a different one, I guess. Alright. Do I have a scheme to sway anybody currently? I do not. Alright, so let's look at our vassals. Who needs to be swayed? This one guy here does not like me much. Let's sway him. Start a scheme to have him like me. Waldensian. Waldensians in Upper Cilicia. Okay. Princess manipulates subject. Got a weak hook on Phil Hildy, the court physician. Interesting. She's 33 and not married. Let's let's get her married to one of my guys here. How about my vassal and knight? There we go. Make sure she don't leave here. Alright. Excellent. It's a powerful vassal. Does not have a room on my council. Well, you're just not that good, buddy. You're not as good as any of these people. Tell me what you're good at. You're good at learning. Intrigue is poor. Stewardship is poor. Marshals average. Diplomacy is terrible. That's why, my friend. Mercia has won against Vestfold. Okay. So now I have a claim to this. Uh, 
He holds it directly. Cornwall. Uh-huh. They have 1126 men. I want that. I want that territory. I can declare war on him. I have a claim on that territory. Cost me 50. Their military strength is inferior to ours. And he has some sort of mimicry of my awesome flag. Oh man, he's allies with West Francia. I am too. We're both allies with West Francia. I'm gonna have to call him in before he does. Alright, let's do it. We're gonna risk it. I got a new Marshall perk. Okay. Let's see. Let's try it. I'm gonna declare war on you for my claim. And I'm gonna pause it, and then I'm gonna call in my allies. King Charles. You will not accept! Oh no! He probably won't accept on the other guy's part either. But I can call this guy. The Duchy of Toulouse. Alright, here we go. An attempt on my life. A noise like that of an assassin stumbling on a chamber pot pulled me out of my late night slumber. Spotting my would-be assailant, I shouted for my guards in a composed and manly fashion. <laughs> the evil spawn of hell. Giguan. How do you pronounce that? And my brother-in-law. Ah, oh, we took his territory way back when. I gained watchful, lose opinion of Giguan. Alright. I'll make him regret this. Okay. He will regret that. Alright, he was swayed. That's good. Enemy ally joins the war. King Jar Charles. Great. Great. King Charles joined the war. He wouldn't join it when I tried to get him. Uh, he can't be called against an ally of his liege. Well, another war I'm going to lose. Rats monkey. That funky monkey. wonder if I can get this siege done before he can. Before his allies can get up here. Tudwell comes of age. They grow up fast. He's already betrothed. Okay. Betrothed can marry. Yep. Excellent. Well, this is just great. Hopefully, uh, France don't come up here. That's gonna be bad. Come on. Being raided. I knew this would happen. The sacking of Perfethlod. With the fall of the settlement of Dinbic to Jarl Bjorn, much of the greater Perfethlod has been left to rampaging upper, upland looters. As there are a few local fortresses of size left to oppose them, the raiders have carried off every precious item and scrap of silver they can find. Curse some meddlesome savages. Pay the world gold for the lost. Or help them to rebuild. I'm gonna help them rebuild. Ah, oh, man, he's gonna win. The siege first. I lost 26% just of that one little deal. Come on, take it. Take it. Alright, we got it. Get out of here, freaking raiders. I can't afford to fight you right now. I guess that's why they're here. I know I can't afford to fight him. Get out of here. Run, coward. Get him! Yes! 
Smash him down. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Let's take our land back. Let's liberate those guys. Then I might have to go down to Cornwall. Take his capital. Ooh, he's the Devil's Army. 666. Low control. Okay. I'll have to fix that. Where's that at? Here. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the council going. Let's send him to control. I can't. Moment. Fuck it, I'm at war. How am I? Got it. Alright. Come down to Cornwall. We get, we get a little attrition down there, apparently. Doesn't look like Charles is doing anything. So. That's good. I was hoping he wouldn't since we're allies as well. Oh, come on. Cornwall, get out of here with your 448. Who's this? Wessex is attacking them as well. Or are they helping to defend? What's what's happening? Okay, take their capital. I'm losing troops, unfortunately. 1%. What's, what's Wessex doing in here? Why are they my enemy? And they're taking over Cornwall. And yet they're my enemy too. It's weird. I don't care if they take over Cornwall. Down to 2%. <laughs> Alright, we won. Alright, so I'm going to force my demands on him. Excellent. Yes. Alright, disband. Alright, so now I need to give away this place to someone. Cladog. He's a giant. Cladog giant. Could give it to my other son. Or my other son. Or one of my knights. Let's go to one of my knights. He deserves it. There we go. Very good. And I need to change clothes. I hate this outfit I'm wearing. Let's go to the barber shop. I'm gonna take you to the barber shop. Commoner clothing. High nobility. Okay, I'm a warrior king. How about something warrior like? There you go. I like that. I've got a little circlet crown right now. There you go. I think we're good there. I like that. Always present. Gig one has become a constant scourge upon my life. And the evil man smirks as he does it. Curse you. Oh man, I'm getting stressed out. I've been overwhelmed by stress. How am I going to deal with it? Wanton desires. Trip to the brothel will bring, bring relief. Perhaps a new view of God will help me become polycanism. I'll bite my lip and try to stay focused. I guess I'm going to the brothel. I became rakish. Okay, so where is this guy at? My brother-in-law and rival. Treacherous villain. He's unlanded. He's about to get murdered. Alright. And we got a ransom. Uh, accept it. Empty council position. My chancellor died. Uh, my son and vassal. Yes. Come to my attention, some local commoners are moving to Etoile... Trolling the capital of my vassal. Okay. Take this. Make sure you're heard of it. Okay. Let's all sway him a little bit. The betrothed can marry. Kingdom of Alba. My daughter. Oh, what happened? 
They're declaring war on me. What? What's happening? Honor Alliance and join on the claim of your Aldom of the Isles. Are you kidding me? You're attacking the Yarldom of the Isles? He's freaking twice as strong as you. And he has an alliance to the Countess of Link Lanarkshar. Alright. I accept it. God, all these freaking alliances. Alright. Yarldom of the Isles. He's got 2300. Great. I'm gonna come up here and then I'll uh, try to take his capital. Another martial perk. And another war. I'm gonna go organize march. A ransom. Re release her for 50 gold. Who's this? My granddaughter. All right. We have been in constant war since I started this. Where's the enemy army at? I'm afraid he's come sneaking up on me. Can declare wars. Low county control. Designate a guardian. My son. Uh, how about my wife? Okay. I'm about to take Dublin. Defeat? What? Sorry, I tried to help you. Tried to help you, my friend. Tried to help you, my friend. Alright, so I guess that's going to be about it for the first episode of Crusader Kings with the country of Gwyneth. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.